what's up guys thank you for tuning into my channel my name is yadrissa how is everybody doing i hope you guys are doing well today this is a cause inspired um freestyle pink bling um press on set that i did and this is inspired by cause like i said so as always let's just jump straight into the video don't waste no time i'm going to be using these extra 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 long tips today yes these are very very long tips um these are my 2xl tips and what i'm going to be starting off doing is i'm going to be um going in with my mia secret acrylic and i'm going in with that cover beige acrylic because i wanted this acrylic to be the base color for my nails and i was um just trying to avoid using any gel polish or nail polish so that's why i was going in with this acrylic and to give it that extra stability and strength for the nail um these nails that i do have that i am using for this nail set they are pretty sturdy but i just really wanted this nail set to last a long time so that is why i am adding my acrylic and as you can see i'm just adding a thin layer i'm not going in with my acrylic as if i'm doing a regular you know full set on somebody's um real hand i'm just going in with that thin layer just to give it that strength like i said before and this is in the color uh cover beige again by mia secret and the brush that i'm using is by panna and i believe the size is a 16 brush if i'm not mistaken and i did get my brush from amazon and i really like this brush i'm going in with my beetles gel polish and this is the pink that i'm going to be using today in the color 616 no i think it said 619 and i did get that beetles gel polish inside of a set of gel polish So that's why that bottle is so small because it did come in a um you know a set of nails basically a, a set of gel polish excuse me so now i'm going to be taking my liner brush and this is a small liner brush and i'm just using that to um just make my design or create my pattern on my nail so i'm going to be using that so for this thumbnail um i just did a little slant you know and i'm just going to be filling that in with that gel polish because it would take too long to fill it in with the liner brush so that's why i'm going in with the regular brush after i just made my line with that liner brush this is the glitter that i'm going to be using today it has a like a reflective of like a yellow tone to it um so it's like a pink with a, a yellow reflective and i'm not sure what this is called this white thing but this is what i use to apply my glitter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a, this, a scoop of that glitter and I'm just gonna pour it all over that gel polish. Only way I put the gel polish and that gel polish just acts as my base for my glitter to stick onto. And then after I put the glitter on, I'm just gonna tap off the excess glitter and pop that in my UV lamp for 60 seconds for that nail. So now I'm going on to this next nail. And for this nail, I wanted to do um, another design with my liner brush and for this now I'm going to be doing a French tip a pink French tip and again um, this French tip is going to be covered like I did a thumbnail so I'm just going to be drawing my pattern my shape with that liner brush and that gel polish and then I'm going to do the same thing I did before I'm going to take that pink glitter um, after I finish painting the rest of the nail like I'm doing now from from the bottle I'm gonna go in with that pink glitter and put it on top of that gel polish so that way only the only thing that's gonna stick to the nail is the glitter that is on the gel polish it's not gonna stick on anything else on this nail because there's nothing for it to adhere to because that acrylic is already dry so as you can see i'm just pouring that glitter all over after i finish that i'm going to tap off the excess and put it in my uv lamp for 60 seconds just to let it dry in place just a close-up of that now 60 seconds in the lamp so now i'm going back in with my pink um gel polish again this is from beetles and now i'm just going to be drawing in my cause 
so i did have a reference photo in front of me i did type in on google calls and just looking at a picture of the calls and how it looks so that's why i was just taking my time and trying to um you know draw it from a photo a reference photo that i was looking at and um you know try to just draw it to the best of my abilities to make it look as realistic as possible as far as just the shape and getting the shape down pack and yeah that's what i'm doing and then after i draw my outline i'm just gonna go in with the brush from the gel polish bottle and i'm going to be filling the remainder in with that because you know it's going to take too long to do it with the liner brush so again yeah i'm just went in with the brush straight from the bottle and if you haven't already done so if you haven't if you are not a subscriber here on my channel welcome to my channel pretty press on plug and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you like what you see my content here on my product on my channel excuse me and also hit the bell the bell notification so every time i upload my videos here on my youtube channel pretty press on plug when my new videos uploads acrylic sets toes and everything like that you will be the first to know that i have uploaded a new video so you guys can tune in some to tune in to some new content excuse me got a little tongue tied but now i was just drawing the ear of that cause as you can see very easy to achieve so the next thing i'm going to be doing i did want to flip that nail over i did i was trying to fit two of the cause um design on this nail and i didn't want them to be side by side no excuse me i didn't want them to be exactly on top of each other so i was trying to do um i was trying to draw one that was upside down and a little bit smaller just to give it a little bit of feel and i what i did like about these um nail tips is because they are very long so you can do a lot more artwork on your um you know on your nail sets because it's so much space to you know achieve anything on the nails as long as you you know drawing at the right size to make everything fit yeah so basically i'm just drawing the outline with the liner brush and then I'm going to be filling it in with the rest of, I'm filling the, the remainder in for, um, you know, my design with the gel polish. <clears throat> so this is how that looks. I'm going to, after I finish drawing my design on this nail, I am going to put it in my UV lamp for 60 seconds just to let this cure before I continue with um, drawing my course. And as you can see, this clip is in real time. Um, no, excuse me. This clip is not in real time. That clip was actually sped up because it was taking so long for me to draw. Because I was taking my time and I was trying to, um, you know, draw from a reference photo. So now after I took my nail out of the UV lamp, I had it in there for 60 seconds. I am going in with my black gel polish from Beatles as well. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that same line of brush. Um, I did clean it off with some acetone and now I'm going in with that black. And I'm just outlining the cause with the, um, with the black gel polish. I'm just going to outline and fill in the details with my black gel polish. So I'm just starting off with that. The, um, you know the outer outline and then i'm going to fill in the rest of the nail as you um guys are going to see and i always say in every video if anybody see this video and you are um curious to know how to create any other nail sets that you have seen on social medias or just any way of any you maybe you typed it in or you just saw a certain look if you guys want me to create any type of um nail designs here on my channel i can make a dedicated video to that i would like to interact more with my followers so that's why i'm trying to um create more content on this channel and hopefully gain more followers that are interested in the same thing i'm interested in, as far as nails and pedicures and acrylic nail sets um so you guys can interact with me 
and I can start like I would like to do like giveaways of free press on nail sets um oh yeah and this nail set that I'm doing right now I did message um Jerry the worst if you have ever seen her channel this girl is so talented with her makeup and everything like that and I don't know I just really like her channel I follow her on YouTube and on Instagram as well and I did send her a DM I was asking her can I be able to send her a free set of nails um just because and this this um nail set that I'm creating here is actually for her so I am going to be sending these nails out free of charge to her just because um I don't know she just seems so down to earth I just love her content I've been watching her um you know for a couple of years and I'm just a big um supporter of her and I hope that she actually enjoyed these nails because when I was creating this nail set I was wondering if she um would like certain designs and stuff like that because when I went on her page I was like trying to see like her nail sets to see if she have like certain certain nail looks because I didn't want to do it too too crazy um and you know she not like it so I didn't even send it in yet um you know because I'm just finishing this nail set but and I did a create another cell set for her too um yeah so I hope when she does get this nail set that she likes this nail set and um I just had so much creating this I just had so much fun creating this set <laughs> you know uh, I actually want to do one for myself I had, I had so much fun with it you know but again yes I am making this nail set for Jerry the worst here on YouTube and I hope she enjoys this set I hope she likes this set and yeah it's just me um showing love to a fellow um YouTuber and somebody that um you know I really enjoy their channel so why not you know so again everything is hand painted on my channel as you can see all nails are designed by me uh, my name is Yadrissa I know that you guys have never seen my face here on my channel but if you are curious to know who is creating who is behind these sets you can take a look at my other YouTube channel that I have here on YouTube uh, my name is Yadrissa that's Y-A-A d-r-i-s-s-a and i have another channel here again on youtube and on that channel i do wig installs i do different hairstyles i do braids i do um just a whole lot of different hairstyles um installs ponytails um box braids i also do makeup and i also do special effects makeup as well i'm really into that as well and i try to promote each channel um on each channel so when i'm over there sometimes i might mention hey go throttle my nail channel pretty press on plug just to try to um you know get more followers and hopefully find some people that are interested in the other page as well and hopefully gain a new supporter um for things that i love to do and i like to share with you guys here on youtube i also have a tiktok um for my pretty press on plug so the same the name is the same pretty press on plug for my tiktok um if anybody is interested in checking it out over there yeah, so I know I spoke too much. My bad, y'all, because when I get the yapping, I get the yapping. I just be comfortable like y'all in front of me, <laughs> even though I know you're not. But as you can see, I felt like this set needed a lot more black to it because I did add a black cause to um one of the nails. I'm, I mean, sorry, I'm sorry. I said, yeah, one of the nails. And that's only because I did not have another pink calls so i was just trying to incorporate that back a little bit more with this set so that that black calls can match the set as well so now what i'm doing is i'm going in with that same um mccart rhinestone gel and i'm just going to be using that on my nail and putting my calls on top and then putting it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds so that it can dry and cure properly and now what i'm doing is i'm just creating a friendship with my rhinestone gel yes i'm right i'm drawing a friendship with the rhinestone gel and i am going to be applying 
my um my rhinestones my diamonds So these are the stones that I'm going to be using today, my rhinestones, and I'm going to be using those two um, sizes that I did point to, and I'm going to be adding those crystals to my nails using my wax stick. Um, I think that the, not I think, the wax stick makes it so much easier for me to apply my, um, my gems and my stones and my charms to my nails, so that is why I use that as a base, and then I'm just going to be going in with each of those stones and just placing them on the nail to fill it in in the shape of a um, French tip for this nail. So I'm just letting you guys watch while I just apply those, um, you know, those rhinestones to the nail. I know that did take a little while to complete, but what I was going to do, when I was looking at this set, I was thinking that it needed a little bit more. I felt like even though it was a lot going on with these nails and I did want to do a different nail for each, um, a different design for each nail, I did feel like it was still a little bit too plain for my likings so that's why i was going in with these um crosses um i did show you my little other my other um my other um collection of like my rhinestones and stuff like that that's what i did show in the previous clip of where i was going to take the right i'm um, excuse me the crosses from there and just add it to this set as well and i did go in after this nail set after i did complete this nail set and add um more things to the nail set off camera because i wanted to be i wanted this set to be more personalized so i am going in with that beetles um matte top coat and i'm just applying that because i did want this nail set to be matte so that's why i'm applying that onto the nail and then after i do that i'm going to be putting it into my uv lamp to dry for 60 seconds so i'm just finished um 
I'm just finished up and I was just showing you guys a close up of each um, side of the nails and how they look close up and just the details of each of the nails um these came out so 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 pretty and this is a clip of the other things that i did add to the nails you can see on that thumbnail i did add a gemini um astrology sign and then on this set i did add that heart and that um pink world I think that's what it's called, a world or a globe. But check out my other social media platforms and my other videos. I hope to see you tuning into my next videos. Bye.